73 people were infected with salmonella after eating honey smack cereal, says the CDC. Learn more about the cereal recall and how you can protect yourself from the infection. A salmonella outbreak in 31 states, which has infected 73 people, has been linked to sweet, delicious honey smack cereal, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said on June 15. The Kellogg Company has announced that it's going to voluntarily recall 15.3 ounce UPC code 38,039,103 and 23 ounce packages UPC code 38,014,810 of Kellogg's Honey Smack cereal with the best if used by date from June 14, 2018 through June 14, 2019, according to a statement from the company. The salmonella outbreak lasted from March 3 to May 28, according to the CDC, and 24 people have been hospitalized. No deaths have been reported. While the outbreak affected people in 31 states, most occurred in California, Massachusetts, New York and Pennsylvania. 30 out of 39 people interviewed by the CDC reported eating cold cereal the week before contracting salmonella. Kellogg's Honey Smacks was the most common cereal eaten among the patients. Kellogg said that they launched an investigation through a third-party manufacturer that makes Honey Smacks as soon as they were contacted by the CDC and FDA. Those infected with salmonella can experience symptoms such as fever, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain. The illness generally lasts four to seven days, and the patients usually do not need treatment. However, if the infection reaches the patient's bloodstream, it can cause a more serious infection. Salmonella can sometimes be fatal in young children, the elderly, and those with weakened immune symptoms. Per Kellogg's statement, the affected product includes the following varieties distributed across the United States as well as limited distribution in Costa Rica, Guatemala, Mexico, the Caribbean, Guam, Tahiti, and Saipan. The best if used by date can be found on the top of the cereal box, and the UPC code can be found on the bottom of the box. Seek help immediately if you believe you'd have been infected with salmonella.